How's it going, my fellow Casanovians? This is TC Casanova bringing the videos you love, and we got another Skyrim challenge video. Today, we're seeing if you can beat Skyrim as a Pokemon Master. And what does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you, so stick around. As you can see, the world looks a little stylized, and I'm using a Borderlands texture pack in EMB. If I remember, I'll put that in the description, as well as the main mod of this video, Sumon, which allows you to capture and uh, basically use NPCs you find as little Pokemon. And you'll get to see how that works in a little bit. As you can see, I'm playing as a chicken for some reason. Probably knew that if you saw the thumbnail. But, uh, yeah, it has some abilities as being the chicken born, but I'm not going to be using them during this video for obvious reasons. Not that I'm taking this super seriously. This is a difficult challenge to stick to. But,. We're going to be seeing this a lot, and we're going to be hearing a lot of chicken noises every time I run. So get used to that, or don't if I choose to edit it out. I'm editing it right now. If you can't tell, that is the state of Ohio. Dragons are the state of Ohio. I don't know. And they, you can't catch them, but you, we'll see that later. In order to start using the mod Sumon, I had to acquire it using dubious methods, you know, the console command. But. It would be kind of boring just to watch me, you know, sit here and wait to get enough money to unlock the spells normally, and it really adds nothing to the video or the challenge, so I figured I would just get it, and it didn't really end up mattering, but you'll see why. So here we are getting into uh, Riverwood and meeting our, you know regular people here, how we usually start. Obviously I get Fendel as my follower by lying and we are heading to Blue Falls Barrow now. And after a fateful encounter with some bandits, which in my mod pack are named deserters for some reason, we actually end up meeting my uh, fateful starter Pokemon. And I'll let you be introduced to him. Alright, so here I am almost 200 days later. I've been working on this video for a long time, took a long break. But uh, I'm going to jump right back into it. Uh, here we are about to go to Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm about to fight some enemies, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. It seems here I have Fendel go and fight them for me, and uh, I guess it doesn't really fit the challenge very well, but uh, mm -hmm. hindsight 2020, but uh, you know, gotta love Fendel, right? He's in every challenge.
Now that spell that I use here actually isn't a damaging spell. I wouldn't exactly call it a cheat spell. It was more of a joke spell. The new mod that came out at the time. You'll probably see what it does eventually unless I cut all the clips out. So we won the fight, and here you get to see the level up system for uh, uh, Pokemon in this mod here. It is pretty neat. It helps you customize your uh, your creatures. It's a fun little RPG aspect of the mod that I really appreciate. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so here we are inside Bleak Falls Barrow. I believe I'm about to start a fight with the bandits here and uh, see how my Pokemon does. Yeah, so that went terribly. I guess it's uh, difficult for a bandit with no armor and just a knife to take on two fully weaponed and armored bandits, huh? So here I'm skipping past a bunch of Bleak Falls Barrow. You know how it goes, and I wasn't really playing it super well, you know, having a follower with me, so nothing too unique to the challenge happened here. I mean, we did, here's us making it to the boss, and uh, here's the fight that's about to happen. And yeah, in that earlier clip, I used flames to break the webs, but that's a part of every, can you do this without doing this challenge in any game? Sometimes there's stuff you have to do, but uh, here's a little bit later into the fight, and as you can see, we, Got a new best friend. This guy's gonna come in very handy, a lot more handy than the deserter is gonna be for most of this, but hey, I mean, it's a big old spider boss. A little wounded, but he's still a good boy or girl or other. And here I am summoning the spider for the first time. I thought it was quite fitting to uh, use it against Arbol. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't catch Arvel because, you know, unique NPCs are considered hard souls to bind, so they're made not possible to bind. At least in default settings, I don't know if you can change it, but it probably broken my quest anyway. I wouldn't have been able to get that Golden Claw without cheating, so it's a blessing in disguise here. Alright, so here we are later, going to fight the Draugr in this. About after this, I'm probably going to skip to the... You know the final boss fight see how i do there and uh but you'll see how these traps go and all that and i guess i'll explain what's happening there it seems whenever i'm summoning anything it does have a glitch that tends to occur where the ai won't activate and sometimes i have to respawn it sometimes it kicks in after a few seconds yeah, sometimes it has to die first, and it does really annoy me during this video, but I get through it.
here's a big example of that glitch I mentioned. It's a. It really does make these fights harder when I can't, you know, have enough magicka to respawn on the fixed AI. And I don't remember if I tried interacting to fix them or interacting with the enemy to fix them, but I couldn't figure it out during most of the challenge. It, most of the time, my solution was just to wait till I have enough magicka to respawn or wait for them to, you know, die. Here I was trying to see if I could get enough magicka back to attempt to capture the Draugr Overlord. We'll see if I'm able to catch it a little bit. But yeah, that was a big part of the challenge here. Just not having enough magicka. I never had enough magicka for this challenge. It takes so much magicka to use these spells. So yeah, there I tried to catch it. I was seeing if getting it to low health would help my chances. It didn't have the unique NPC text, so it is possible to catch it. I just didn't get the RNG there. And I believe the, the item was actually on it, so I might have actually been able to soft lock the quest here if I did, I don't remember. So you can basically throw this whole challenge out the window because uh, shame on me 200 days ago or probably, I don't know, more or less at this point. But uh, I resurrected the NPC and uh, cheated to catch it because I thought it would be good to have that guy around. He is very strong. But yeah, that was complete uh, BS. And... Uh, I guess the video is entertainment, but yeah, that was a terrible idea past me, and I I can't change the footage, so I mean you'll just have to deal with that, I guess. But yeah, I did cheat. I'm a dirty cheater. Cheat. So here's me fighting the first dragon. Skip that whole getting back quest thing yada 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 and cheating and uh we're gonna see how the dragon fight goes and here's gonna be where i discovered that you can't really catch dragons i know it's a little spoiler but yeah i guess it would be too hard to code that in or this maybe it's just this dragon i don't remember it might be i think it was all dragons though but yeah it's a quest related dragon and you cannot catch it or any other dragon out So here, as you can see, Ohio appears. The most scary thing that can appear out of nowhere.
So yeah, here we beat the dragon and I absorb its soul. I head back to report the dragons and uh, let them know that he lets me know that the graybeards want me. So I finally make it to the beginning of the thousand steps, which is actually, you know, a weird way of going up for me. I was so used to going up the horse stuff, but I was going to do that for the challenge video, obviously. But here's my guy fighting a wolf. And I forgot to mention I added the mod out of the death claw. So yeah, I definitely had to catch that. And yeah, I guess it is a bit against the challenge to catch mod out of enemies, but hey, this challenge already sucks. My fault, of course. So yeah, here I don't get the horn, and then I get the horn, then I go give them the horn. A lot of time saved there, huh? I get really distracted for a while here, but eventually it's time to go learn where the other scrolls are. I realized during editing that I'm skipping most of the stuff that makes this challenge unique footage and not just a uh, retelling of beating Skyrim. So here's the idiotic decision I made to fight the dragon down in Blackreach with some of my Pokemon. And, uh,. It's fights like these why you can see why I skip a lot of this because it does really just turn out to be can you beat Skyrim with multiple respawnable followers it's not as cool as the the fusion uh, challenge. I'll probably do some other challenges with more interesting concepts but I actually did lose all the footage of that uh, spooky challenge, so I might not make, be able to make another episode of that, so that's why I'm doing this one instead. But yeah, here's a full minute of a fight since I've been just speeding through everything. Here you go, and then I'm probably going to skip through a bunch more after this. So here we are trapping the state of Ohio. Uh, that's a sentence. So after a few more fights here and this long fight coming up where in both cases, you know, my death claw carries me. Again, making this challenge feel kind of pointless. We do get to the Alduin fight, and of course, at the end of the Alduin fight, I have to do the final kill, so I use a chicken related thing. And as you can see here, no, you cannot beat Skyrim as a Pokemon Master. Of course, you can't. I knew that going into the challenge. I just wanted to see how a playthrough of this would go at the time. And yeah, I really speed ran editing this video because there was so much footage to go through. And uh, I'll hold on to this footage for a little bit if this video does well and people want to see the full playthrough in the, you know, in the comments. I will just release the whole footage on edit it and you guys can See your favorite moments from this that you wanted to see in the video? Sorry, I'm scratch my back. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, sorry this challenge wasn't as good as it sounded in my head, I guess. But yeah, peace. Is a burning thing. And it makes... A fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire